Ooh, what are these? Nettle. I think I'm going to be making a potion type thing. Like the note said about having to ingest something. Black bottle. Black? Looked pretty purple to me. This place is pretty well lit up now. The candles really don't provide much light though. <laughs> Still creepy as hell. Hmm. If I take the potion thing, I probably will see something written on this, I'm guessing. Okay, let's explore. Wait, is there something other than nettle? Lavender. Mushroom, one lavender, two sip from black bottle, two sip from blue bottle. Cough syrup, reduce fever, makeshift tea, sleeping potion, blood thinner, rat poison, calming potion, rash ointment, painkillers. Wait, which one am I supposed to make? I didn't see a potion of true sight. I think that's the blue bottle. Yep. April 19th, 1905. It's not here. I've searched through the whole cellar twice and no trace. I spent the night and when I woke up, all the piles had been disturbed. At first, I thought that maybe it was Nora, but she never goes this far from the house. No, something else must have followed me in here, but this time I'm ready. With a bang, the heavy door slammed shut. I can feel a heat rising within me, the beginning of the struggle. I will prepare a concoction to reduce it. The cellar is full of herbs and potions. I must find a way to bind it here before I step outside that door. Really sounds like they're talking about possession. April 22nd. The fever finally relented, but I still can't sleep. It has been three days. I need to get some sleep or I'll never get out of this dark hole. I've gone through all of the herbs and I think I have what I need to sleep for just a few hours. Okay, talking about a fever. So there was an anti-fever medication listed in that book, a recipe. 23rd of April. I'm starting to forget things. I have gaps in my memory. Today I made rat poison, and I remember putting it on the floor. Then all of a sudden the poison was gone. Did I remove it, or did I just stand there for several hours? April 24th? I burnt myself today. My hand was over the candle fire, and I didn't react at first. It tries to control me. I must be on my guard at all times. Thankfully, it was a small wound that my burn ointment will get rid of. 25th. My skin was itching all day. I have blisters all over my body. I don't know if it's real or not, but I'll make an ointment for it anyway. Can it make me sick, or is it just in my mind? 26th. It shows me nightmares. I cannot describe the images I've seen. I've made a concoction to help calm me down. I must find a way out of here. 27th. I broke my leg today and I'm still not sure how it happened. I've made something for the pain. I'm losing time. Hours just seem to run by. No matter what I try, it's having no effect on the dark creature. How can it be so powerful? I should have stayed closer to the spirits. Thankfully, thankfully we haven't seen any dark creature yet. 28th. I can feel myself slowly slipping away. 
Moonlight shines right through me, and I can barely lift my spoon. I've brewed something that resembles tea. At least whatever it was is stuck in here with me and not out there. Whoa, what was that? Cup. I didn't even know I could pick that up. I'm lucky that I spotted it. It was really small. <laughs> what is that? Red bottle. I feel like it'd be very easy to miss a small ingredient in this cellar. So let's be thorough. What does this say again? You mustn't open the door until you're absolutely sure that it's gone. The door can't be opened from up here. If you're still in control of your senses, I'm sure you'll figure it out. There is a concoction that will open your eyes. We should get brewing. Question is, what do we brew? Also, how do I brew anything? Like, can I use it? I guess I probably mash it all in the mortar, I suppose. Yeah, I just put some stuff in there. Uh, let's drink this thing just to get it out of here and hope it doesn't poison me. Hope I didn't just accidentally make rat poison. This is all right. I'll throw it away. Oh, thank God. So yeah, like burn ointment, obviously no. Cough syrup, maybe if I want to trip. This is all right. I'll throw it away. This is all right. This is all right. Well, here's something that I just noticed. There's dates listed here with all of these constellations. And the one on the wall back there is Hercules, which is the 23rd of April. Let's look at the 23rd of April in here. I've gaps in my memory. Today I made rat poison. <laughs> okay, I guess let's make rat poison. Two mushroom, one red, lavender nettle. Two mushroom, one red, lavender nettle. Two mushroom. One red. Lavender nettle. Okay, let's see what happens. Did you just drink rat poison? Why did we just drink rat poison? I'm sorry, so... We saw a constellation on the wall with a date associated with it. Saw that it matched a constellation on another part of the wall. Looked at this person's journal. They said they made rat poison on that day, so I made rat poison and drank it. I feel like I would need a little bit more convincing before I drank literal fucking rat poison. What? I mean, I guess it's not really rat poison, obviously, or we would die. But... I don't think we had any specific reason to believe that it's not rat poison. Anyway, let's see what we see. There's things. Oh, I think the thing I want to see the most is... Aha. When in doubt, I can always count on one thing. The brightest star in the sky always leads the way. Under its guidance, I feel safe. Brightest star in the sky.
think this might be the brightest star in the sky under its uh, whatever. I feel safe and it's over their bed. I feel like that might be it. That like M. Is it on here? Is it that one on the bottom left? Maybe? It seems to be missing a, a point. This one has like two points right here. I don't see that anywhere on this. But otherwise it matches. seems to be loose. Ah, under the brightest star. Okay. It seems to be loose. Perhaps the knife? Miss Nellie's keys. Ah! <laughs> Jesus! Um... I was going to say, maybe I can make the calming potion or something to make my vision go back to normal, but actually all the herbs are gone from my inventory, so I guess not. Looks like we have a gear puzzle. So, oh, so we have like a bunch, uh, a bank of gears, and then we got to put them in the right spots. Okay, I'll do this on camera for a bit, and then if it goes horribly wrong. There we go. If it goes horribly wrong, I'll just cut this out. Yeah, I won't let you put it on if it's not going to fit. That works. That's not going to work at all, right? There's no gear small enough. We need two small gears here. Is that going to work? Are they going to actually touch? They don't really look like they do. I guess so. Do I have to use every single peg? I guess I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, like seven, eight. Yeah, I don't have to use every single peg. I guess I don't even have to use every single gear, do I? I just need to get it to the other side. Right? That wouldn't fit. Uh. Hmm. I think a small gear has to go here. And then a medium gear, and then... I don't think this is right. Oh! I got it. I hope I don't have to use every single gear. I don't see why I would. This connects all the way across to the other side. It should work. Yes! I guess it worked. What did it actually do, though? I heard a noise. Maybe it opened the main door up here? Ah, yeah. Mr. 
Miss Nellie had obviously been scared. And instead of locking something out, she tried to trap it with her in that dark cellar. I wondered where she'd gone. Find her? Is that the key? Then we can go and get Pearl. She'll help us look. Who is Pearl? She's... She's Pearl. She's great at finding things. Where do I find her? She's in the basement of the burnt down building. Down towards the lake. This thing? Actually, I don't think this is the burned down building. I don't think it was burned down. Towards the lake. Well, first I want to see if I can unlock this door. Ah. Classroom. March twentieth, nineteen oh five. I've collected all supplies from the school building as well. I noticed. Wait, what? From the school building as well, I noticed that from habit I had gone around and locked all the doors behind me. Completely pointless since Nora always seems to find a way in no matter what. Congratulations on finding the fifth puzzle box, kids. The foundations of science is study, examinations of facts, and heaps of tea. My tutor, Mr. Toffel, taught me everything I know. He eagerly tried my first inventions. After he got blown up a bit and later on got poisoned, I learned an important lesson to never give up. Mr. Toffel actually cried on my last day. I think he was very proud of me. So towards the water. Oh yeah, there's also this. I could probably unlock this now too.
February 7th, 1905. I finally dared to come outside this morning. Something horrible happened last night. Pearl and Jack hit me at their place with all of the commotion going on outside. Those poor girls. But at least the mob got what it deserved. Unfortunately, Jack and Pearl got cut up, caught up in whatever happened. I also found Nora, who had also been turned into some sort of ghost. I didn't even know she was out here that night. Everything happened so quickly. I need to find a way back into town, but the road is blocked by some sort of magic. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, a lot happened here. A kid... I assume this was written by a kid, because it looks like a kid's place here. Um, kid was held... Uh, um, hid somewhere by Pearl and Jack to protect them from a mob? And then... Nora, who's the person we've been talking to that we can't see, has been turned into some sort of ghost? <laughs> Oops. Damn. Got ghosted. They just sound remarkably calm and accepting of... One of their friends, I assume, being turned into a ghost? Oh, look at the lights in the distance that have lit up. It looks so nice. I think I missed stuff this way. That looks burned down. Perhaps I should wait outside. She was pretty mad. What happened? She got a bit tired of me, that's all. And there was something else that I can't quite remember. Why don't you come with me? I think it would be better if you talk to her alone first. So she doesn't think I'm trying to trick her again. Again? She's not dangerous, is she? Not unless you're a building. She set one of those on fire. But I'm sure she'll love you. Just maybe be a bit careful with her. March 29th, 1905. I've been out here listening to the typing. All night it has been going on, and I know Pearl is inside the laundry. What could Jack be typing? Maybe he has an accomplice. Where's Nora? Shall I go into the basement to find Pearl first, or go on and explore ahead? Because I saw some more buildings and stuff down here. Let's go down first. Another puzzle box. Ah! Congratulations on finding the fourth puzzle box, kids! The 
people at the estate might seem friendly, but some of them are not. Jack is one of those people. You might be captivated by Jack's stories, but be aware, don't believe any of them. If you want good stories, you, you can come to me. I can tell you how I made fishing rod that shot fireworks, or about the time I relocated all of Jack's belongings to the roof. February 10th, 1905. This morning I tried crossing the lake, but as I reached no more than 50 feet out, an invisible force pulled me back to the shore with so much force it broke the boat to pieces. Could it have been Pearl? I think we're going to get to mess around with this furnace, I think it is. Looks like a big burning thing and I see piles of coal all around it. working for it's not working for some reason Congratulations on finding the sixth puzzle box, kids! You are brave to venture into these frightful lands. There lurks a monster in here, and its name is Pearl. She might seem innocent, but when you least expect it, she strikes. I discovered this side of her when I used the water pools for an experiment. Just because all of the linen turned blue. On one hand, how they're describing this sounds like telling a child a, a story, exaggerating things. They got angry because, I don't know, they maybe they do the, Pearl does the laundry and 
they did an experiment that messed up all the laundry or something. I don't know. So on one hand, it sounds like an exaggeration, but like, is that what everything we've read is? Talk about uh, being hidden away as a mob comes? Somebody being turned into a ghost? I don't think so. To shovel more coal in, perhaps. working for some reason. I think it just got pressure. It's not working for some reason. Wait, what? Oh, did it burn out already? My god. Okay, so we just need to be really fast. Hungry, hungry coal monster. It's not working. It's not work. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working for some reason. I see the pressure going up. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working for some reason. Am I doing something wrong? Do I need to put in more? Because it seems like after I put in two or three, it just stops getting more. I think it's over pressurizing. That's the problem, isn't it? It's building up too much pressure. Does that mean I need to put in less coal? Because I don't think I can, like, adjust it in any way. I can't mess with these at all. Yeah, let me try putting in less. Just one, perhaps? I guess probably needs more. Oh, there's small coal pieces that make more minor adjustments. I see. Almost to the green. There we go. Supposed to go in that pipe. Does it pump more? Ah, yeah. Uh, huh. So I think I'm supposed to get on the box while it's at the bottom and then have the water rise, maybe? But how would I do that? Because I can't go down at all right now. I can't even jump in there, let alone go on the ladder. I think I just need to move it right next to where it needs to be, and then once it floats to the top, I can just drop down onto it. Yeah, it's about right. Nasty. 
Uh, why can't I go? There we go. April 13th, 1905. The spirit should be around here somewhere. I need to just get it into the trap and close it. After that, I'll see where to put it. I'd rather Pearl not see me. Luckily, she's off somewhere with Jack. So this is where Pearl or whatever was down here went running off into and put a chair up there to stop it from opening. Pearl seems to be invisible as well. Hello? Listen, I need to find my sister and... Please, help me find Sophia. Why are you doing that? Ooh, Pearl's angry. I don't think I should mention Nora, because I think that just make them more angry. How long have you been here? Calm down! Miss Nelly asked me to help you. Nope, that's not it either. Why are you doing that? This is a weird puzzle. Nora told me that something happened. Is there anything I can do? Where are you going? Where did they go? Past me, I guess? There's nowhere else to go unless they like climbed up there yourself in there there's another one Marie we need to get back up to the house where exactly are we going up to the master's study Pearl says we'll need something from up there are you sure it's not just another wild goose chase she usually doesn't like to play, but maybe she's come around to it. Why can't I come inside? But Marie wants me to. We're a team and... Okay, fine. I'll wait out here for you, Marie. Pearl is in one of her moods. The master study is on the second floor. Let me know what you find. So there's something in here we'll need. Another puzzle box.
Ah, the fake candle again. Cursed. Oh, hello. You want me to go in there? The children have settled in and we are beginning to get acquainted. They like my creations, especially the puzzle boxes and the tree houses. I introduce them to the people on the grounds. For some reason, they seem to take a liking to Jack. I told them he's the most boring person. Congratulations on finding the seventh puzzle box, kids! Every great inventor needs at least five places to experiment in. In here, I created one of my most marvelous machines, my famous rotating clothes hanger. It sold not one, but two copies. Unfortunately, I only had the time to make the first one. The life of a scientist is a busy one. Did you give them a refund on the other one? This is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to try to find whatever it is that we need to help us find our sister. Or maybe just get entrapped into some ghost trap. <laughs>